Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best solid state drives. Starting at number 5. Kingston Fury Renegade. It would be easy to look at the Kingston Fury Renegade SSD as just another Fisunny 18. Base drive with another stupid name, but that would mean missing out on one of the outright fastest PCIe 4. Zero SSDs in the business. The Renegade certainly cranks out the numbers. It also runs cool, has excellent rated write endurance, and a long warranty. But all that good stuff comes at a painful price. 4 gigabytes per second read and 7 gigabytes per second write speeds, not to mention 1 million IOPS. We've previously seen the E18 classified as an NVMe 1. For chip, but Kingston claims NVMe 2. Zero support for the Fury Renegade. We believe Kingston is using the same Micron 176 layer 3D TLC chips as seen in the KC3000 sibling drive. All of which means you're looking at a thoroughly up to date drive. Obviously, the PCIe 5. Zero standard is notionally upon us with the arrival of Intel's Alder Lake CPUs. But we're some way from PCIe 5. Zero drives and platforms being mainstream and compatible drives being available in volume. Coming at number 4. Crucial MX500. The Crucial MX500 is the only SATA drive left on our list of the best SSDs for gaming. But when the price delta between PCIe and SATA is so small, it's difficult to make an argument for the far slower technology. But, as there is a hard limit on the number of M. Two slots on your motherboard, there is still a place for SATA SSDs as secondary storage. And the Crucial MX500 is one of the best. With SATA's maximum theoretical bandwidth limit of 600 megabytes per second, it's nearly as quick as you'll get. And Crucial's drives have long been among the best value options available too. Two sockets anyway. You will still be missing out on the zippy response of your operating system running on the SSD-specific NVMe protocol, but if that's not an option anyway, this drive will see you right. At number 3. Samsung 970 EVO. The Samsung 970 EVO Plus offers a slight bump in write performance over the 970 EVO. All for the same price. There was a time when you could pick up the non-plus version for slightly less, but those drives seem to have disappeared now. If you can find a straight 970 EVO for less, then go for it, but they're a rarity. Both drives still use the same Samsung Phoenix controller, which means they can outperform this generation's competition in real-world usage. If you want peak PCIe 3, 5 gigabytes per second of sequential read and 3, 3 gigabytes per second write speeds, making it a very good middle-of-the-pack SSD without costing an arm or a leg. The one terabyte drive remains one of favorite SSDs around because of its cost and performance. Though you'll see plenty of the 500 gigabytes models on sale almost every other week. Number 2 of my list. Seagate Fire Kuda. Seagate may have taken a while to get into the solid state game, and especially the PCIe 4. Zero market, but it has arrived with a bang with the Fire Kuda 530. With or without the heatsink, something that's necessary for its PlayStation 5 compatibility. The latest Seagate drive is a stunner. Of course, the rated sequential read slash write speeds are fantastic. But it's the endurance levels that really stand out compared to the competition. The 2TB drive we tested has an unprecedented 2550 TBW rating. When it comes to endurance, which is something you won't see this side of an SSD made for Chia mining. It combines brand new Micron 176 layer TLC NAND. The same memory crucial is using to great effect with the new P5 Plus drives, with a Fison PS5018. E18 controller. Micron claims that its 176L TLC NAND is the best in the industry with a 30% smaller die size, and a 35% improvement in read and write latency over its previous generation 96L NAND. 
And number one. Crucial P5 Plus. Crucial is one of the big names in affordable solid state storage, but has been notably slow at getting us a new PCIe 4. Zero SSD. It's been worth the wait, however, as the new P5 Plus is a fantastic entry-level Gen 4 SSD. It may not have the peak speeds of the WD or Sabrent competition, but it can make a big splash in terms of those all-important price-slash-performance metrics. And, also importantly, it can easily outperform any PCIe 3. Zero setup, and at the limits of that connection. Since the first Gen 4 SSDs launched there has been a significant price premium as a barrier to entry. And with the P5 Plus that has come down a hell of a lot. Using parent company, Micron's latest NAND flash memory, and its own in-house controller. Crucial has been able to keep costs down and performance up. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.